Thank you. Thank you. I recently appeared with Helen in Tahoe, and I was fantastic. And uh, <laughs> you might wonder what makes a fantastic comedian. You know, what makes any comedian? You know, uh, Midnight Special had a comedy show a few weeks back, and uh, a lot of comedians on it. And comedians are basically very neurotic people. That's to be something in your background, very strong, to make you want to get up there and try and make people laugh. With me, when I was young, I always felt that I was adopted. And it's not bad to be adopted, but if you want, your parents should tell you. When you're old enough to understand, they say, look, we love you very much, but you were adopted. But my parents never said anything. I had to ask. About five years ago, I went up to my father. I said, Ling Chow. <laughs> I said, was I adopted? He said, no, you're not adopted. <laughs> Who told you you were adopted? As quick as you can, snatch the pebble from my hand. <laughs> you know, I grew up, as most of the people here, with television. I think I was from the first complete television generation. You know, I don't remember when there wasn't television. In fact, uh, if I see Ed Sullivan now, I get the same reaction. Wow, tomorrow's school. Got a feeling I have to finish my English homework or something, right? But I don't know how many of you remember the Ed Sullivan show too well, but I really grew up with it. I remember every week, Ed Sullivan always had an act for the little kids. There was an act for the teenagers. And there was an act for every different ethnic group. That was a success formula. Make sure every week you have something for everybody. What did he really think about that? Suppose he got a little drunk on his last show. Somebody said, come on, Ed, have a drink with us. Oh, all right. <laughs> Go ahead, for it's fine. And he got stoned, and after 23 years, he said what he really thought about his show and his audience. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You want to know who's on our show tonight? Oh, look at your damn TV guy. <laughs> All right, let me see it, let me see it. For the Jews, <laughs> Myron Cohen is gonna tell you some Jew jokes. <laughs> For the Negroes, James Brown is back there. There's a whole group of them back there. <laughs> They're gonna come out here and do some of that soul crap. Right on, right on, right on. <laughs> From Italy, the magnificent Italian acrobats of Vachachio, Vachichio, Vachuchio. Oh, I can't understand. What is that? Is that them? Hello, senors. Buenos fichos. What's your name, Vachachi? Bachacha, will you say your name, please? Do you speak English? Speak your English? -y? What's your name, oh? Bachacha, same to you. This one is for your brother. This one's for you. I don't know. Kate Smith is on our show tonight, and this is Kate Smith's 49th appearance on our stage, and I'm sick of looking at it. <laughs> Girl Scout Troop 114 are in our audience. They're going to stand up and show you their cookies. <laughs> and a zookeeper in the Bronx Zoo is going to show us some zookeeping. You're know, coming here and force feed prune juice to a monkey. <laughs> uh, you youngsters are going to like this. And your wildlife association reminds you that a regular monkey is a happy monkey. <laughs> Bring in your monkey and sock it to him. He doesn't want to do it? I'll bring Kate Smith in here. Okay. 
Come on, Kay, we got a surprise for you. <laughs> we'll bring your moon over the mountain. <laughs> she doesn't want to do it here? Where's Topo Gigio? <laughs> oh, old fairy mouse. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do it, I'm going home. Well, good night. Thank you.